You ended up on this video because you want to make a dashed line in Adobe Illustrator and you're not sure how. So let me show you how. If we hop into Illustrator, you first need a line of some sort. You can use the line segment tool to create a line. You could use the pen tool, shortcut key is P, and you can start creating lines or you could even curve those lines by clicking and dragging and holding. So we've got all sorts of lines out here and we wanna add a dash to them. I'm gonna select this first line segment line just straight across. And when I look at my appearance panel, if you're not seeing it, go up to window down to appearance and we'll pop that out. When I look at my appearance panel, I can actually click on the stroke label. That's gonna bring up the stroke options of that line. Now I can increase the stroke weight I'm holding shift and just pressing the up and down arrow keys there, or you can type in whatever number you want. But I can also add a dashed line. That's right, it's that simple. You just have a checkbox on there. Now to start with, this dashed line is only one point. It's a one point dash, so it's very tiny, hard to see. But same thing with the up and down arrow keys, we can add more points or more of a weight to that dash. So this is a 10 point dash with the 20 point weight. So the dash point here is going to affect the width of the dash itself. And the weight up here is kind of gonna affect the height of it. That's the way I think about the stroke weight versus, versus the dashed line weight. Now if I increase this up to 20, now we kind of have squares in here. So it's gonna be 20 tall and 20 wide. So to create something that actually looks like a dash for this type of stroke weight, we're gonna need maybe something like 50 in there. You can hit tab to commit that. So now we have an actual dashed line. And of course we can adjust this as much as we'd like to create the effect that we're going for. I like to hold shift and use the up and down arrow keys because that quickly previews and shows me what my dashed line is looking like. So there it is, we've got a dashed line. Now a couple of tweaks we can make here if we look at this again. I can click back on that stroke panel options. One of the things we can do is add a rounded cap. So if you want your dashed line to not have a hard cutoff, you can add a round cap to each of the dashes. They kind of look like Tic Tacs out here. You can adjust corners if you need to, depending on your shape. You cannot align this stroke to the inside or outside right now because it's just a line, it's not really a shape yet. I'll show you here in a second how you do this to a shape as well. But one more thing you can do is adjust the dashes themselves and even add more dashes within your line. So we have a 30 point dash. We could then add another dash, let's say it's 15 points, right? And once we add that dash, we're actually gonna need to have some sort of a gap between them and we can press up and down on the arrow keys here to adjust that gap. So we've got a gap, we've got another dash, we can bring this down if we want, and we can keep adjusting that line to look however we want there. So the other thing you can do here is just add a gap after this dash as well, so potentially another 30 point gap, and that's gonna help even it out. So it's basically a 30 point dash, 30 point gap, 10 point dash, 30 point gap and you get the drift. So you can customize the dashes within your line as well. Now a really quick way to add this effect to another line or shape, just like this wacky pin tool shape we did, is to select that shape or line and press the I key for the eyedropper tool and just click on your dashed line up here and it's gonna add that to this one down here. Now you might notice this pointed corner right here where we've got a really harsh cut. Well, we can select this, go to stroke in that appearance panel, and that's where we can kind of adjust some of the corners. So a rounded join will help round that off if I don't want that really sharp edge. If I wanna have a beveled edge for some reason, if it works with my shape, I can do that as well. Now, the other piece here is we can add this to shapes. So we can't align this. You cannot align the stroke to the inside or outside of an open path, that means one that's not closed, that's not a shape. So if we create something like a rectangle, shortcut key is M, and we have this rectangle here, because I had that selected last, it's just gonna go ahead and add that stroke pattern to this rectangle. If we select this rectangle, go into the stroke options again, because we have a closed shape, we can actually align the stroke to the inside or the outside of that rectangle. Everything else has to align it to the center. 
but for a closed shape, we can align it inside or outside. And the other thing here, this one, it sort of keeps the dashes in the corners. So if we toggle this on, which maybe we cannot for some reason. Oh, I know why. I know why. You cannot toggle this on unless it's aligned to the center. So align it to the center. We can now toggle this on and we can have our corners lock in. I really like this feature when you have a closed shape just because I feel like it keeps the dashes more uniform around your shape. Now watch how this affects how the dashes will line up because we will always keep the corner dashes on this rectangle. So let me zoom in here so you can see it better. Select this rectangle, hit stroke. And now if we edit this to be, let's say a 15 point gap, it adjusts that, but the corners stay put. So if I increase this dash size, notice how the corners increase and the other dashes increase but the corners always stay versus this other one, which says that it will preserve the exact gapping and, and distance between the dashes. So that one's going to sort of preserve what you've labeled here. But this other one here is going to align the dashes to the corners and the path ends to make sure it fits and it might adjust it slightly. So there's a perfect way. There's a way that maybe looks better with the corners and will ignore some of your calculations if it doesn't line up perfect it'll sort of um, I suppose space it out with the corners intact bet you didn't think that this tutorial was going to be this long neither did I but that's everything I know about dashes and dots if you wanted a dotted line you could just do one point and do a rounded um, join so then it basically looks like a circle it can be a dotted line. But that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Illustrator tutorials. I've also got one coming about how to add this effect to text, whether it's editable or outlined, and there's pros and cons to either. So check that out in the description down below. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you guys next time.